daily besties welcome back to my channel um today is a really exciting video because i'm gonna be just reading aloud some of you guys' lines from your guys' novels um as a celebration of hitting 60,000 subscribers on this channel let's pop this down of course you guys know the drill um over on my community post i had posted you know show me you guys is your 600th um lines from your book to of course celebrate 60k hopefully i'll be able to get to yours if not i'm so so sorry but i'll try to get to as many people as possible but before we get on i just want to of course thank you guys so so much for um supporting me and for just being such beautiful human beings i simply adore every single comment i get and how encouraging you guys are and just yeah it's it's been such a cool journey having this channel and i just really hope that we continue to grow and i continue to get better at making videos and content for you um but just know there's so much more content coming your way um and i'm just really excited for this journey so if you're new here definitely check out my other videos and subscribe of course so let's go ahead and get on to reading your guys's comments from your books and sorry if i keep changing my hair in this video i i'm not really used to bangs i had bangs before and now i have shorter bangs so my hair's gonna completely change for the video but i keep procrastinating let's get on to it okay the first one goes like this dead paul finishes Ooh. You especially should know everything he tells you is a fallacy. Helena hears only a single syllable. It's taken way out of context, okay. But basically, the syllable she hears is he, and the he is referring to her father and the lord of the city. Ooh, okay, we're getting some context around here. I really love dialogue like that, that like starts with like one short sentence, and then like, I don't know, it's just cool. But sounds really cool. I would love to know more about your story. It was night when they reached the borders of Valeria, the dull light of the moon consumed by the thickness of fog. A sharp prickle of cold rolled over her thin body as the rain fell in walls of silver from the clouds. It drowned out the sound of every living thing. Okay, this bestie, the way that they describe it, so like warmly, oh, I can see it. I adore it. Congrats, Anna. Here is my line from my current whip set in a prison. Oh my gosh, I have a prison story too. Regret suffocated his mind about the world he once knew beyond cell 22. However, not an ounce of his soul regretted the murders he committed. Damn, this is a good line. Like, was that really the 600 line? See, it feels like it's the heart of the story. Like, regret about the world. But regret about his, but no regret or remorse of his murders. That's a really interesting. I wonder what the character psychology is like. That's really cool. Thank you for submitting. Okay. I look over at Theo. He's still sleeping. He looks so peaceful, like he wouldn't even be capable of killing a person. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Theo, like he's an assassin, I guess. And like he looks so peaceful in sleep. Oh my gosh, wow. That's really a cool way to think about it. I love it. And the pain of being deprived of your own knowledge is a toilsome thing to endure. Beautiful. Amazing. And the pain of being deprived of your own knowledge. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. That's definitely a quote like one day someone will put on like Twitter or like an Instagram post and be like, damn, damn. She was covered in blood. There was nothing holding her back. There was no way to go back. Ooh, no, I like that. I like that. That's your first draft. That's amazing. I did enjoy that. They thundered through the field, wind whipping the horses' manes, blowing their hair into their faces. Kara felt herself grin as she took in the fresh air, and for a moment her worries seemed to evaporate. That's so pretty. Thundered through the field. I really do like that because they're on horses. Yes, oh, I love that. I fought for you, the country, my family, then myself. No, I haven't fought for myself yet. Ooh. Ooh, I love dialogue pieces. They just make me so happy for some reason. And like the way that characters, um, I actually have a video coming soon. I don't know if it's really uh, already up, but yeah, I did a video about dialogue. Um, so I love dialogue, even though I mean, I'm, not, I'm not the best at it, but I think I am. But I like that. I really like that. Ooh, we got another dialogue piece. If I had to be reprimanded by a cop, I'd much rather it be for speeding than for trespassing and tampering with evidence. 
that seemed like a felony and I've been told that felonies do not look good on job applications. Okay, okay, that's fun. I get the vibe of it and I like it. The fear of perception was what found its way to him again, sitting in the middle of an army camp, snow up to his ankles. Ooh, I love snow up to his ankles. Why does that sound pretty? Am I going crazy? I don't know, I like it. Sometimes it's a lot easier to know that someone you care about is dead than to have to ponder if they are or not. Okay. Damn! Who hurt you? Who hurt you? He knew he wasn't ready. He knew moving wouldn't change anything. He thought he knew so much, yet ended up knowing so little. He was ready to leave everything behind, cutting off contact to everyone and pretending like those six years away did nothing, meant nothing. But they did do something. They did mean something. And he knew. The shadows swirled around her ankles and climbed higher until the darkness consumed her. Pretty. Beautiful. I just love... Tell me about the ankles. I don't have an ankle fetish, but like, it's pretty. Like, it reminds me... I don't know, it's just poetic. Like, ankles? I don't know, they're just like such a particular part of the body. Like, elbows. No, not like elbows. Like, shoulder blades? Oh, When shoulder blades are mentioned in like, books, I don't know, it's just like so beautiful because I feel like they're beautiful things. Again, not like a shoulder blade fetish. <laughs> I'm gonna change my hair again. I literally can't. My hair is so not okay today. Um, it just gets so flat so quickly. He looked down, the pale mug still warm in his hands. Don't call him that. He's not my father. Not anymore anyways. Damn. I'm sorry, but I cannot watch you destroy yourself. Joshua said examining the wound to his mother's rib cage more carefully. I won't let you. Damn. But I cannot watch you destroy yourself. Wow, wow. I wake up to the cold metal pressed against my throat, a point pushing my chin to the palace ceiling. Ooh, yeah, I like that. I like the imagery, I can see it, like the cold and like it's seeping into her chin, or his chin, wow. Beautiful. I read you like a book and annotated all the parts that I thought is beautiful. I put my soul into the pages and turned it carefully as I see the resemblance of you in there. Oh, that's so pretty. I just hope that knocking on death's door would hurt less than everything life had put me through. Oh my gosh, who hurt you? Who hurt you? The sounds of silence were replaced with orders alongside commands full of echoes that were loud and clear. Okay, that's pretty. And I know like obviously it's really hard because you can't pick and choose like what your 600 line is, but still, I like to see your writing style through it. And it's so cool that like one sentence can truly show me how you guys write and the sort of vibe of the story. Even if you think it says nothing, I, I can read it and I can see it, so. Yet you were there that day. You saw what happened. He stares down at his hands as though he sees something I don't. Invisible blood stains. That's poetic. That's pretty, that's pretty, I love that. She reached out into the darkness until she felt Mara's warm skin under her fingertips. You've ruined me, do you know that? <laughs> Yo, that's cool, that's sweet. Oh my God. Griffin Academy was compromised. Illyria couldn't bring herself to feel sad. <laughs> oh my gosh, if it's Academy, if school's over, that's me too. Okay, so apparently this um, dialogue piece has a British accent as character, so I'm gonna try my best. I'm not good at British accents, okay. Just as a by the way, but let's, let's see. I got, okay, let me just try. I was never yours, darling. <laughs> sorry, give me one second. I'm sorry, this is your comment, like, in advance. I was never yours, darling, nor am I hers. His voice is hushed, almost quieter than silence as he whispers into her ear. Now be a good girl. <laughs> Sorry. Now be a good girl. Look, it, it looks good. Like, I read this like before and I'm like, damn, like this is cool. And now I'm just ruining it. Okay, let me try one more time. Now be a good girl. Kitty. My cat just me out of my door. Probably telling me to stop embarrassing myself. Kiddish. Now be a good girl now. <laughs> mm, I got it. Mm. I'm just gonna say I'm a normal accent. Now be a good girl and untie my corset. The door to Wonderland was locked, the world hidden behind the closed curtains. 
But what we didn't know was that Wonderland still had mysteries to explore. That's pretty. I even like just the first sentence. Like that's just like so mythical and mysterious. The door to Wonderland was locked. Like that could be the start sentence of a book. And I'd be like, okay. And where's the key? The need for a lighthouse made itself ever apparent. Ooh. See, these sorts of like quotes I love. Like they just make me like wonder. Like, and I love like this sort of character voice the need for a lighthouse made itself ever apparent like it seems like you know like i don't know it's hard to explain alice waddled over to the kitchen whose cupboards were chock full of precious crockery Ooh, and this is the last line of my short story because i think it's more interesting do it says the green eyed monster damn i love how like different they are <laughs> that's so funny all right amir i whispered oh oh amir i whispered caressing his cheek in a way that made him lean into me, pleading silently for more. There will be no happiness in the future if you don't start looking for it today. Oh, that's sweet. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, but it's sweet. And I love sweetness. But there is always something to love, but it was. Wow, that made me stop. I need a drink, okay. <laughs> Arya sat in the swing as it swayed back and forth slowly. I love simple sentences like this. It's just so pretty. I love it. Ah, ace. Okay. And then, as Robert pulled himself aside one day to woo a girl, Alexander recognized with all too great a shock the throb that now inflicted him. He was a fashion. Okay, this is my favorite one so far. I know I shouldn't be picking favorites, but like... I'd forgotten my mother. My mother who waits for me until the end of the night. My mother whom I have forgotten in all my complex calculations. She's there on the sofa looking out the window at the moon. I sit beside her and come and rest in her arms. She puts her arms around me. We stay like this for long minutes. Then she speaks, breaking the silence. Aww. I feel like we should have more mothers and more parental parental um, characters in our books because they're really important. I have a character, a grandma character in Project Ghost who really, like he, she's just there, but she really does have this space in the book that is so important. Okay, we gotta do a few more, I'm sorry. Um, we're kind of close to the end. No, sorry, it just keeps going. I'm just gonna randomly scroll. I've been going like from the top, but I'm just gonna scroll and find one. I felt as if love was fluttering around me like a butterfly. That's pretty. I love that one. It's one of her charms, I suppose. Looks innocent, but could verbally dissect you with a smile and you are about to cry. Damn, we love these cutthroat characters though. Layla looked down the corridor at a masked man, sliding a scarlet letter under her door once again. This is mysterious. I love it. Eric waved an airy hand. Plenty of time for icebreakers later when we're <laughs> incinerating things. I would explain this, but it would take too long. I love that. That's hilarious. Yet he remained, his eyes drifting to places they shouldn't linger. Let's stay. G-rated. The shocks got harder, the chains got tighter, he could feel the blood leaving his body, but he wouldn't give up. Not the best. That's so good, bestie. Y'all should have more faith in your work. Bastard, bastard, bastard! The soldiers cried into the cold winter air, and Vin didn't care whether they meant to insult or affront her. For her, it was a cry of victory. Go, bestie. Go, bestie. Go, 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 bestie. Finally, there was a moment of silence that broke free, filling the air. However, the silence did not mean peace, because the lovers held daggers in their hands. Ooh! Damn, a plot twist this early on? But anyways, I think that's the end of the video. I really did enjoy that last one, actually. Like, damn. Like, damn. Like, girl. Whoever wrote that, I want to read your book. Like, just from that one quote. I want to read it. But anyways, thank you so much for watching till the end. Sorry this video was very chaotic and crazy and bizarre and distracting and I don't know. Uh, I just had a lot of fun reading you guys' comments and quotes and it's just so, so 
cool seeing how different everyone's writing styles are and the different characters and how like amazing that I can feel like I'm into these worlds and into these stories with one simple sentence or a couple more. I know you guys shared a little bit more. So that's why we weren't able to get to a lot of them in today's video, but I feel like I got through quite a lot of them. So I hope I read yours. Anyways, thank you so much again for 60k. It's amazing. I know this video was a little bit late, but again, thank you so, so, so much for your support. Again, if you guys want to support me more so, definitely check out my um, podcast called Writing with Anna New, where I make weekly videos about writing content and reflecting on my own projects. Definitely do check that out because I love my podcast so much. I also have a Discord, everyone. Um, so if you want to have a writing buddy or a writing friend, or you just want to like have a space where you can talk about um, your writing projects, get new ideas and stuff like that, definitely check that out. I'll have everything linked below, my podcast, my Discord. And also on my Discord, I do have a video suggestions um, little chat box thing. I'm not good at Discord, so that's why my mods, my beautiful mods, I love my mods. So thank you if you're a moderator. I love you um but i do have a video suggestions box so if you guys need to or want to definitely give me some video suggestions because i am going to be going through that i go through that every so often and i'm able to yeah really do your videos that you guys want anyways sorry this outro is so long i just love you guys i love you guys i love you guys so anyways yeah thank you and i'll see you later bye <laughs>